Hey guys, Funnyubi here, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a car controller in the Godot engine, and what not to do when creating a car controller in the Godot engine. So let's go ahead and get into this. To create a car controller in the Godot engine, you need to create a new scene, or just a prefab, and then set the root to a vehicle body. The name of the node is vehicle body, and it is a physics object. And then you want to give that vehicle body a collision shape. In my case, it's just a box shape to cover the mesh instance I gave it. And then you want to have four wheels or tires, however you would like to call them. And then you want a front left, front right, rear left, and rear right. And then for the purposes of this tutorial, I have given them all mesh instances with a cylinder and a black material and then for the front left you want to click use as steering for the front right you want to click use as steering for the rear left you want to click use as traction and for the rear right you want to click use as traction as well and then for this tutorial i have also gave in the car controller a camera now you want to create a new script on this car controller and for the purposes of this tutorial, I've called it car controller better. And then you want to be in your physics process. And then you want to say steering is equal to input.getAxis, move right, and then move left, times however you want it to be. So, uh, for example, I could change this number and it should change how fast I rotate my wheels. So, if I change this number, then I can turn faster. So, smaller numbers, your front wheels will move slower. So... 4 is a somewhat okay default, and then engine force is equal to input dot get access move back and move forward times however you would like your speed. So in my case, 200, 200 is a good number. However, you could also set it to something crazy like 800 if you're creating some kind of sports racing game. Uh, as you can see, my uh, car goes just a little bit crazy. So 200 is a nice value. And then for these axes, you just want to go to project settings input map and then have move forward, move back, move left, and move right. And then you can assign them to WASD or to your arrows. Now, I've showed you how to create a car controller using the Godot engine, but I'm going to show you what you should not do. <laughs> so what you should not do is try to write your own car controller just by extending rigid body. This car controller will not be as good as the one that is built in to Godot, and it will be lacking some of the features, such as traction, that the default Godot car controller has. So you're better off just using the built-in car controller shape, and just using the values that come with it, instead of trying to write your own, like what I try to do here. Now, this car controller didn't really work as intended, and this doesn't take wheels or suspension into account either, so it's just worse all around than using the default Godot car controller. So if you found this video informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps our channel, help get content like this, recommend others. That's all from me for now, Funuber out.